Hi, I'm Christine Ortiz. Did you know some fish can bleed? Some species of the Dracaena genus have red sap in their interior. When the trunk or branches are cut, the sap flows out as a liquid and then solidifies into a dark red resin as it dries when exposed to oxygen. This is what we know as dragon's blood. If you wait for about 24 hours, the resin becomes a solid and looks like a rock. And then you can also smash the rock and create powder. Whether in its liquid form or as powder, many civilizations have used dragon's blood in medicine, cosmetics, and as a dye and varnish for about 2000 years. Today, we continue using dragon's blood thanks to its many properties. It can be applied directly to wounds, burns, bites, and cuts to accelerate healing. People also use it orally, in diluted doses. It has been shown to have antiviral, anti-inflammatory, and antibacterial properties. In natural cosmetics, it is used for its regenerative, healing, and antioxidant properties. And although less common today, some traditional uses also persist as a natural dye or artisanal varnish, especially in the making of sacred art or musical instruments. Within the Dracaena genus, there are 189 species distributed throughout tropical and subtropical areas of the planet. However, only a few species have red sap. The majority only have a whitish or yellowish sap. And the species called Dracaena cinnabari stands out from all the others. That's because its sap is more red. Also, this magnificent tree only lives on the island of Socotra in Yemen. Also, have you noticed their interesting shape? These trees look like an inverted umbrella. This is the result of an adaptation to store water. Twisted branches open at the top and form elongated pointed green leaves. This unique design allows the trees to collect raindrops, dew, and moisture from fog. Thus, the dense foliage at the top of the trees traps water and directs it to the roots. Considering that these trees grow in arid climates, their strange appearance and mysterious nature work as a highly efficient structure for surviving in extreme conditions. Very impressive!